My name, as you know if you've seen the previous vlogs that I've done here, is John Greenway. I was up with the larks this morning, I, to keep the wolf in the door, so to speak, I uh, went out at five o'clock this morning and we did a bit of ploughing for one of our neighbouring farmers. We got that done, we got just over 2,000 for it and with the interest going out on our loan that's on the farm left us with £1,644 so it's keeping us afloat. The bank have said if we can keep afloat and manage the interest payments until our harvest is ready then we have to pay back some of the part loan that we've got but uh, they're happy if we keep the interest payments up at the moment so yeah we are drilling this field with wheat it's the first of our crops that we have drilled ourselves still using the Dora drill, it seems to work pretty well. I mean, I was a bit dubious about it. It's not a brand readily recognised in this country at the moment, but uh, hoping to break into the British market. This New Holland that we got. Also working pretty well, it's gone the territory to try and cut down on the compaction of the soil. This field is 100% fertilised, it's uh, we are now getting towards proper daylight now so uh, we shall see how things go. We can get this field drilled within the vlog today, we shall be happy. We should do as much drilling today as we can. We can't afford to lime the field, so any field that needs liming that will stay. I say the weeds are already growing in this, so it's going to need to be sprayed, so sure whether we've got any herbicide but we will we've got another contract to do so we can of course purchase ourselves some let's see the star of drill working away nicely there it has got the cultivation bits at the front, some little discs, so we can drill over the ploughing, that's not a problem for the drill, that's one reason we we chose it, it was the only one we could afford and that would fit our tractor that did its own cultivation work, so that's good. Uh, now we shall get around this headland and we shall start on the up and down roads. Downside to this drill is at the moment the drills they are using haven't got any tram lining 
materials, uh, drumline equipment set inside it, so we can't do any drum lining, but uh, not a major problem for us at the moment. Next season, hopefully, we shall be able to go over the land and throw some lime at it. It's majority of it has been ploughed this year. There's some that we are going to drill direct into the sea stubble of the previous crop. But, uh, let's see how we go. And now we want to be coming around and we shall go and follow the Plough furrows makes it a bit easier for us to see the direction we need to go in. Really looking forward to this harvest. I mean, the last harvest, what crops we had were in here when we bought the land. The previous owner. passed away and his family didn't want it so they've sold it all off. He was a pretty big farmer and a lot of the farmers in the area don't actually live in the area. They are working away from their main farms a little. They Seem to be going pretty well with what they've got. The job we did this morning, we actually used the farmer's own equipment, so uh, got the chance to have a go on a Baltra. Newest tractor I've actually driven, it was a 2012 Baltra. This is the newest tractor I've driven up until now, obviously not coming from a farming background but wanting to get into it was a lot of learning process we're in at the moment but uh, yeah my uh, I think my grandfather farmed years ago but my dad wasn't into farming and uh, for some reason it's so then we shall continue on get some drilling done and uh, these weeds growing pretty quick so we're going to have to do some more work to be able to buy ourselves some fertiliser. I've just run, I stopped recording because I've run back to the yard just to see whether we had any chemical or not, which we don't, so uh, Fortunately, it means another dawn start, or a little bit before dawn as it was this morning, we started off at 5 o'clock this morning, and it looks like tomorrow morning is going to be pretty much same sort of time starting. Uh, yeah. But we're in for some long days until we get. Well, we're going to go down here. And do this breed. And go back down the next one again. Tractor a little bit on the old side, but it uh, works pretty well. No problem with this drill, at least. So, uh, which is the main reason we got it, of course, for drilling and doing the lime spreading. We need to spread some lime, so uh, right now it's a ball. For a yes. moment there. Right, drop that down.
Well, in our second build, of course, you probably saw the last vlog we did where we was drilling for another farmer. He did use our own equipment. Buy our own seed because he didn't have any, so we've used a bit of our own seed, which is uh, not a problem in the fact that it's uh, earned us some money and keeping the bank away from our door. Well, at the moment, this is a field of wheat, as I said. We've got barley and canola, or seed rape, depending on whether you're watching from England or somewhere else. Let's see so you done. We have got a bit of equipment to buy still yet, which rather silks. We haven't got a cultivator and there's some jobs that people want to earn with a cultivator and uh, it would have been great to have had our own cultivator and gone through that way but uh, longer to get in really it's not we haven't got any really big fields so fifty-two uh, percent of our seed left so we shall see how we go well now put it on ball up and hopefully get back in here in the right area. There we are. Drop the seed drill down. Away we go again. Beautiful autumn morning, late autumn now. We're getting towards November now, so uh, we need to be able to get these crops in, as well as the fact that, of course, we've got to do work for the people to keep paying off this interest on our loan. So, very well, by the time winter comes, we're ready for a rest and we will be working very long hours between now and getting our crops drilled. Chemical to put down on here as well. cloudy at the moment, with that sun peeping through the clouds, looks like it's going to be a great day. The last thing we need at the moment with this wanting to be going to take a bit of a wider turn and have a go at this way round the drilling. Because it's going to aid us in turning and probably speed the job up a little. Also, we're going to need to run over to the yard and pick up the beer. 
pulling the seat drill up. quicker on here than what it did on the contract. There you go, you see the sun now. Getting brighter, people behind the clouds a little more. I really wanted to start with animals as well, but away the money is at the moment. It's not advisable to get try and get a loan to buy animals from the bank at the moment. They won't up our loan as you may know so uh, we booked it from half a million to 800,000 so uh, the bank seemed to trust us to be able to find it no doubt if it comes to it the bank will easily sell the land that we own and the farm and the house and everything and get their money back and they're already getting interest on it daily so they're not going to lose out should we fail the thing is if they do now lend us any more then if we fail they run the risk of not getting their money back We can keep these jobs coming in. If I do a good job, of course, I don't see any reason why we can't. The farmer we did the ploughing for this morning, he said he will recommend us to any of his friends who need any autumn work doing. There's farmers around here got the odd potatoes and sugar beet left to harvest, so there's land needing ploughing, there's cultivating and drilling, so we should be able to get ourselves enough work to pay off the interest and also purchase seeds, fertilizers and chemicals for ourselves to see us through until next harvest, which won't seem too long coming round but seems a long way off when you're desperate to earn some money. is if it looks like it's going to rain they will probably be pushing for more workers which in itself not a downside the downside to that situation would be that we would be working for them and not getting our own work done the best for us at the moment when we need to get our crops in. If we can get our crops, crops in and then things and it could really come to our advantage with multiple contracts per day and earning a good bit of money. So wet that it bogs our crops out, and we should be fine. One more breed down here to do. You know, we've 
a bit of a technical issue with GoPro. I hope it didn't spoil your enjoyment of the video too much. So we'll have one crop in if we don't get anything else done. At least we've got one field to harvest, although it's not going to pay off much of our loan if we only had one harvest. One of the other bigger farmers said, Why didn't, have you ever thought about instead of farming, contracting? And I'm not sure the one with your work ethic. You could make enough money at it. And I said, well, no. I came here to farm because I wanted to be a farmer. So if I can make a go of it, I want to do. So it seems like if the farm doesn't pay off, we could sell all the land off. Keep a small yard for contracting out of. We have got a base with some tractors, we haven't got massive tractors. But in this area, the farmers seem to have bigger tractors than we've got fields, just because they are bringing their stuff here. Other field farms. Now, hopefully, this seed will finish this field. It's getting very low, but the field is coming to an end. before too long, unless the farmer in the area has got a mechanical weeder, in which case we may be able to do an extra field for nothing and borrow the weeder and do all our crops. And there we are, the end of our first field. Turn that off, no, that's the wrong button on the press, there we go. Turn the drill off, it's only got 14% of its seed left, so uh, once we get to the next field, bring up the sat-nav, there you see, just across the way, into the field, you see us harvesting at the start of the series of logs I've done on my farm. It is pretty awkward getting into this gateway from this direction. This one reason why a lot of the big farmers don't really want the land around here where we can manage with it. to drilling barley. This 
obviously again not a massive field, so uh, might well get a good way around here, so we may get the way without having to. to build up the farm, put all the farm buildings on this plot of land we bought, it used to be a farm at one time, all the farm buildings were falling down and condemned, so we have managed to bulldoze those and uh, build ourselves a small house, it's not massive, it's just Big enough for us to live in. It's a bit cramped, but I'd soon be cramped and farming and live in luxury and be sat in an office. And only got three percent left, so oh, we shall finish there for today and see you back next time here on Maypole Farm please give the blog a like give it a share drop a comment summer farm estates will let us know what you've said if you are new to summer farm estates and would like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification icon it will tell you when, they when do these videos are live streams loaded. until next time Thank you very much for watching. I have been John Greenway. Until next time. Goodbye from me.